Merry Christmas. I'm in the back of the church. It looks a lot different than the front of the church. Sometimes it's kind of cool to be like in the back door, right? So this Christmas, the story that's really been like touching me has been the shepherds and, uh, and how they were outcasts, right? So what I wanted to talk to you about was, you know, how, how we all sometimes feel like outcasts and how maybe sometimes we all even make other people feel like outcasts. See, shepherds, the shepherds had like a real specific job and, uh, right, they took care of sheep and uh, even like the sheep poop and stuff like that. And uh, that made them unclean and the Jews were like a real clean people. So they were excluded very frequently from uh, worship and from the temples uh, because they were dirty. They were outcasts. It's real ironic to think that those same shepherds took care of the sheep that would be used to cleanse people from sin. In some ways there's even a it's kind of an ironic twist to think that it's like they needed those shepherds, dirty as they were, right? It's like we need the outcasts. So I asked my Sunday school class, um, do you know any, like, what, how do you not fit in? Like, what's it take to not fit in? And we all know, we all know that it's easy not to fit in, right? Um, we can dress funny, we can talk funny, maybe we can not talk at all. Um, we can have different colored skin. We can come from a different culture entirely. Um, we can just say things that are different. And then you don't fit in, just like that, right? It's really easy not to fit in. That's how the shepherds felt, is that they didn't fit in. They weren't wanted. They, um, they were outcasts. But I love, I love, I love that the shepherds were some of the first people to hear about the birth of Christ. Ver uh, chapter 2 of Luke says, uh, verse 6, right? It says, while they were there, the time for the baby to be, uh, came to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and she wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room in the inn. And then who found out? But shepherds. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone round them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Every time an angel shows up, he says, don't be afraid. And he says, I don't want you to catch three phrases here. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Good news of great joy for all people. Hmm. Good news the good news of Christ, the good news that the Messiah had been born, the good news that Jesus had come, that God himself had come to love us and to touch us and to die for us so that we might have a relationship with him. That is beyond good news. And if you have experienced Christ, then you understand the joy that that gives you. The great, awesome, awesome joy that comes with knowing God. What awesome... <laughs> there's, there's nothing... It's just, there's no better news. Good is just, it's just not good enough. It's beyond good news. It's the best news you'll ever hear, that anyone will hear. And it's for all people. It's for everyone, right? John 3.16 says that God so loved the 
world. Everyone. Even people that we think don't fit in or they look funny, talk funny, smell funny, dress funny. Maybe they are funny. The gospel's for them. The love of God is for them. That joy is for them. Sometimes we all make other people feel like outcasts. Sometimes we're, we're real uh, exclusive. We're not inclusive like God. God said for all people, good news and great joy for all people. But a lot of times, you know, and sometimes, you know, you know, I get it. And, you know, Christmas time, we hang out with family, and that's cool. But I want to challenge myself, and I want to challenge you with me. Include some people. Reach out. Have a conversation with someone that you don't normally talk to. Maybe invite them over for one of your big celebrations. Because God loves those outcasts. And he uses them throughout the Bible. You see, God changed the world with carpenters and fishermen and, and shepherds. He loves them. And the good news is for them. And we all know what it feels like, I think. We've all felt like outcasts from one time, from time to another. So let's, let's not create any more outcasts. Let's be real inclusive and let's just in, in, and bring people in to the love of God and bring people into your lives. Let's announce the good news and the great joy to all people. I'm going to pray for you and me too. Father, we want to be inclusive. We want to bring people in. We want to tell people about your word. We want to see your your good news and your great joy everywhere we go. Lord, help us not to exclude people. Help us to embrace them. Help us to love like you love. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that blesses you. Jesus loves you so much. And he loves everybody else too. How cool is that? He loves you so much, and so do I. Merry Christmas again.